what's up everybody welcome back to the bamcast the bamcast as always is the home of the anti-pc shout out to boom draw physics for the intro song you're hearing and prismatic verse for the lower sequences the graphics all the stuff you guys been seeing uh shout out to youtubebright.com promo code bam 10 10 percent off anything you ordered support tio he's been on the podcast before it's one it's one of his businesses bro help jamaicans you know do them thing shout out to everybody that's watching everybody that's listening uh usually i just said the faithful close bobby b but bobby b is at home not feeling so well so everybody that's watching or listening just at him and big him up dog you know everybody has those days one of the original is here though tim tim i was hoping it would be the trio so that we could just like have a completely bro night but it kind of works out that bob's not here because bob's the one who usually you know reins us in <laughs> When That's we, true, the wildness normally happens. Yeah, like, okay. yeah. yeah, when Bob's not here. So Good evening, folks, by the way. How are faithful, you? How are you? The other faithful co host, Tim Stew, Zombie, Slice. I don't, you have so many names. What do I call you, dog? Um, the Twitter at, which is. The Brown Fucker? Yeah. At the Brown Fucker. It'll be, it'll be in the lower yeah, thirds. Yeah, at the Brown Fucker, yeah. It'll be in the lower thirds and everything. So, oh, yeah. what up, bro? Not What's been much, good? Mate. You haven't been on the pod in a while yeah you know, you know just trying to you know sort my life out and get my my, my shit together I, I, I forgot i could curse her yeah you forgot you could, it's <laughs> not the radio her. it's not the radio <laughs> uh, yeah so it's getting my shit together and, and thing you know so corona time has been bruh epically sucky for yeah. everybody so the really, job you know, market's awful and, and but yeah it's not been it's been bad but it's not been terrible so i can't really complain you know it could always be worse definitely never tempt the universe because yeah you, you know like in the movies and somebody said oh it could have gone worse and then something worse happens like ah oh, just yeah cruise. two weeks ago was a very low point and then now it's more like i can see a light at the end of the tunnel i'm like ah okay cool so it definitely is just like day to day with everything so you know everybody out there just keep your head up dog was mercury you know? in gatorade or some shit you know whatever like yared would say because so many people we're having like a in retrograde we're having a bad month recently oh no i've been having a bad year oh okay since cool. march oh, uh, so, since yeah. since covid started yeah basically yeah but you remember always, when covid started and like well not started but reached jamaica and everyone was like all right cool dog like a month or two and you pretty say oh, you probably didn't even go and get christmas good good let me do one better <laughs> i that think she, it was two or, two or three days ago I saw the tweet. Which one? It's been one year. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. Yeah. I was at a river. Where was it? Which river? Why is not why as far I'm like Blue Hole or something that with Shay and all of her friends and her friend Lel and like her work group and thing like that. And we're there and we're all chilling and we heard the news. Two weeks ago. I was thinking about Kobe and think uh, watching basketball and some highlights. I, I think I was watching the draft like two nights ago. Mm. And I was like, Jano, Kobe did, did it like just the other day. And I'm thinking 2020 and like two days later. It's like 2019. It, I was like, like last year. Brother, they, time flies. But even so like 2020 in terms of time has just been so different. Yo, like it's either it feels like a minute or it feels like it's been 10 years, depending on the topic that you're talking about. Bro, in terms of like... Majority COVID, of it has been 20 years. Uh, my, it's been 50 fucking years, my guy. Like Jesus, I, I wait to say horrible words right now. I actually miss going to the office because you're around people. Not getting up and going to the office because no one likes the traffic. But you're actually around people. I miss being around people. So, so here's a nice middle ground, because I've thought about this too, is what about <laughs> you work from home and seeing but like three days a week at your choosing, you should be in the office for like, or say six or eight hours or 10, say you work 40 hours a week. So 10 hours a week, you're supposed to be in office you get the opportunity unless there's a meeting or unless there's something that you need to be there for like oh yo we need to all us this is the start of a big project so let's get together thursday morning everybody do them you know get them little job card and whatever mm. i think doing something like that where you say all right 10 or 15 or even if you say 20 hours you broke it up half and half out to the 40 hour week any overtime you can do either or and make it up to you know if you haven't made it up 
I think that would be a not a bad middle ground nowadays because I do feel like Bear, if I was a business owner, just <clears throat> if my business been running from the work from home orders in March started and I have been running the business like normal with everybody working from home. I would never go back to in office because then I don't have to pay rent for the office or light bill for the office or maintenance for the office uh, or anything for the office. Even so you can still do, what was it, once a month? So like I, I said, you let go your office and because you're a small business, you have 20 workers working for you, small business, your online company, something like what you do, mm -hmm. and thing. And you say, all right, we'll let go the office. Once a month, you can still rent one of the ballroom or a business room, a meeting room, one of those yeah. places. Like co-work. Yeah, exactly. You can just yeah. rent a room and be like, all right, let's I'll just get together. Let's discuss. And that day, not a Friday, but any business that does one of those meetings on a Friday or a Monday. You're assholes. You You're know assholes. Not even uh, Do it on Thursday. Like it, it, not even to say do it, do it on take Thursday. it serious. You know better. <laughs> you know better. No one wants the to man do that shaking the on disapproving a Monday finger at you. Or a Friday. You know better as a boss and as a manager. <laughs> Don't be that guy. Don't oh, start. Just because I'm going to Mobe afterwards and I don't have to be in the traffic, you know better. Yeah, Stop it. Don't start the week with a meeting, like with a big yeah. meeting at the end of the day. And don't end the week with it, bro, because like, no one's come paying on, attention dog. on Monday or Friday. You're getting in the vibe Mo or leaving the vibe. Bro, do it on Thursday. There's something about Thursday. Like, you're like, all right, cool, tomorrow's Friday. Tuesday, Five. Thursday. Fine. Uh, not, not Wednesday either, because Wednesday's the middle of the week. No, arguably. And I, I was, hate the middle of the week. I would bro. say Wednesday. When I had the office job, office one or two of them, Wednesdays and Thursdays were my peak productivity days because it was just like, yo, I go show the boss that I, I go earn my paycheck. Monday and Tuesday, I, I normally kind of, Monday was definitely stuck off. Tuesday, you were getting more up in the vibe and the, the engine starting to rev. That's why Tuesday is my good day. Say, Tuesday and Thursday is my good day. Wednesday, the engine is running at 90% efficiency. <sighs> Thursday was 95. You see, Friday, the engine start broke down. It was aisle, it gone down to 50. Bro, my, after lunch, if my lunch engine, was good my Friday, engine warm up on oh. a Monday. My engine warm up on a Monday to me. On Tuesday, we're running at peak performance. Wednesday, we're running at like 90%, but I'm getting annoyed. Thursday, is like I get a little nuts because I'm like, boom, but tomorrow is Friday. And Friday, my mind is not there. <laughs> my, my, I'm yeah, not there. Friday, is Friday always... like... I beat work until like 12. And once lunchtime reach, productivity goes to woo. Lunch on Friday is bro, always Especially the best. if the lunch on Friday good, because you get it's jerk always, always and festival, best. rice and specialty. Fries. Always, always get some nice lunch. And on Friday, mm -hmm. every Jamaican can attest to this. And I don't know if this is just a Jamaican thing or a Caribbean thing. You guys comment below and let me know. You know when you just feel for something nice? Yeah. That is always a Friday or a payday feel. Always a Friday no, or a payday. It's never like a Monday you no. want something nice. Mo Monday, you if you have a really nice Sunday dinner, you're thinking about it for lunch tomorrow and you're like, yo, this game yeah, mad you're tomorrow. Or it's so, getting mad. Yeah. Tuesday, yeah, get a food. Wednesday, whatever. Thursday, you might like go out to lunch or whatever. Tuesday, maybe if you're like a foodie, you're like a taco Tuesday, whatever kind of person. Friday, no matter who you be. Everybody is like, yo, man, I cook today in a dog food. I buy somewhere <laughs> every time. You know, that's one of the, the, like, and working in carpentry, as we were talking about earlier before the podcast, mm. has been my longest experience in, like, a, a, a job. I love carpentry. It's been my favorite job besides bartending. And, you know, talking to the people in bartending was my favorite part. The cleaning up of the bar, the measurements of it. Actually, I didn't mind the I feel like bartenders, it, is that a stress uh, all, all jobs are stressful. Let me not say, is that a stressful job? Is that a fun job? Parts of it. Okay. So when you, like a bar will open at 12. Mm. And when I talk about a roadside bar, we're talking about like yeah. a... You opened at 12 to the public. You were supposed to be there at 9 a.m. But the reality was that if you knew how to do your job... You could get there at 10 30, even 11. <laughs> the Jamaican way. No, but it, no, and even the managers, the managers w always understood this. Which is, and if you were on the afternoon shift, you had to arrive on time. It was only the morning shift bartenders that could do this and the floor staff, because the evening floor staff knew how it went. <laughs> there would be a switch. Bartenders got two morning shifts, three nights. But the floor staff got almost half and half. So if you got two, you would get three next week. Mm -hmm. So you always knew not to be a bastard. 
Yo, because, yeah, you don't you, want somebody to do that back to you. All of the all of the knives and forks that night are done by ten o'clock. One of your teammates is going to take a break for an hour and do nothing but wrap knives and forks for tomorrow, and you are going to split your tip with them. So if they, if you like have a table in their area, that tip you mm. will take like a five hundred if it's a grand, and they'll get the other five because you can't be a bastard. But that was always how it went. What's your opinion on businesses that don't allow their um people to take tips? You better be paying me damn good. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, so again, so damn good. Well, hold on, let me let me just say like stressful as a bartender and like just describe my yeah, 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 yeah. Was it a fun job or not? True. Um so working in the morning shift, you had to measure the alcohol. You don't always measure the alcohol? No, as in like you so you pour a shot. But you're pouring from a shot pourer. Mm. So you can say one, one thousand, two, one thousand. That's a shot. Okay. But enough time, you know, if Martin and my bridge, you know, the regular customer that always give me jokes. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. You, give, you always give them people an extra. Then the new person, you just shot them chaser and give them <laughs> less alcohol and a little <laughs> more ice or something like that. And, you know, you know. If it's white rum, you put in a little water, because water enhances the flavor of white rum. If it's red rum, you just shot the chaser. If it's vodka, well, no one drinks vodka, so you could never steal vodka like that. I was going to say, like, how do you, you vodka don't have no flavor? You just yeah, pour less. No one, no one really drank vodka. Vodka and martinis are like the safest. If you're going to yeah, a they're bar, not, they're like, not a big drink in Jamaica. We're, yeah, we're yeah. rum people. Exactly. So, so it was always stressful in the morning. So, like, you had to measure the bottles, and then the manager would come down and measure them after you. And if it was incorrect, it's like an explanation as to why didn't realize that math was always such an important part of my life before but but yeah so also everything has to be either rewashed because there was one time where we had a little problem with cockroaches Ew. yeah so even though everything in the night was washed and this was including the kitchen because i mean let's face it it was a big bar renting and like it was a big big restaurant and every single person that worked there mm-hmm. ate there. Ah. I came there on my days off. So every single person there, and it wasn't like, oh, we had a infestation. That was absolutely the wrong word to use. I'm not trying to slander them. It, I loved working there. I'm not trying to make them seem nasty or anything. It was businesses give you a straw because them don't want you drink from the glass because them fucking disgusting. <laughs> I've heard Bob said that, about, that um, for a about kitchens. fucking fact. That's why they give you straws. And if those workers at any restaurant you're going to don't go there afterwards, use a goddamn straw. Every single worker uh, came uh, to the restaurant and we always knew the things are clean. See how many I drink from Martin Glass? Yeah, because I wash my things here. But that's I, how we do always pre attracts to so, I always pre because um, I, I, I said infestation and I, I don't I like I feel a way I, I, Yeah, I can cut it out. We no, but thank you. But, but you must have like we so it, after like we we realized like one morning we saw like a, a cockroach and we're like, yep, everything wash. Everything did rewash and things. So like things like that, like it happened once it was annoying. But it was always annoying, like yo, a man might not wipe down the bar properly so it's still sticky ew so it would be like things like that like the simple syrup did want to wash off properly and so <laughs> man then, pour and it gets sticky on the outside of the yeah, bottle yeah so it's, it was that the, you want ants that's how you get that's ants. how you get ants yeah. so the morning shift was always more stressful to set up but the morning shift was always more fun to serve because you'd get a surge like a like lunchtime rush mm. And you'd have to, that's how I always tested myself. I wanted New Year's Day off. This is two months into me working. So I was going out to the party that night. New oh Year's. yeah, bars are open on New Year's Day. Exactly. Was well, it not, new, not the, after the, the New Year, you know, was it New Year's Eve? Sorry, New oh, Year's Eve. Eve day, yeah. oh, we were okay. closed New Year's Day. Oh, big I was up to, big up then. Again, like if a, your road bar, bar, a road bar alone open on New yeah. Year's Day. If you are a big company and you're open on New Year's Day, you're an Boxing asshole. Day, Christmas Day, and Christmas Eve past five o'clock. Now that give it, give it a Christmas Eve. I hate working on Christmas Eve, bad man. No, I'm you know I why? hate you know working why? on and Christmas certain, Eve. No, clothes like certain stores need to be on Christmas Eve because the rest of us need to do shopping. But guess what? 
You see all them stories who home to 12 o'clock? Pay the people Batty them man. good enough. Pay Batty that. man. Yeah, if you're paying them good enough, that matter you. Yo, if, you're, but, if, if you are a closed store and you're open till 12 o'clock, you better be giving that damn employee $20,000 for that day because I know that you're making way more than that as a business owner, so stop the fuckery. I remember I was working at a company, dog, and the man them said, yeah, dog, we're working Christmas Eve and we're going to um do some... I, I'm trying to not like use words like so people know the company, but we're going to do some work. And yeah. the work and the work will take us up to about 11.30. Christmas Eve. Yeah, it was payment properly. I asked. I was like, oh, mad. So I get time and a half or something. They're like, no, no, regular it. I was like, oh, cool. I'll use the bathroom. I left. <laughs> I actually had a job. I left. You remember when I worked at um, our Bridging's father's establishment? Yeah. I was there for a New Year's Eve. And that was the night that me and him, not fell out, because that sounds like we haven't, you know, like, me and him had a disagreement that night. We had a Jamaican conversation. Yeah. The way they usually go, loudly. Two o'clock was when the establishment closed. 2.30, 2.45 was when we normally left. But because, and I don't know whether it was him rubbing it in that it, him run it and him don't need for make us leave and him know everybody didn't want left because of, of Christmas Day. I mean, which is kind of the way, yeah. which is again, I, my interpretation of it might be wrong because of how I was looking at it that I did want to leave, but he was having a conversation that might have just been great business for him. So, you know, again, like I have not heard that side of the story. So I don't want it to make it seem one sided. Dog is Christmas day, like it, morning, my, my go. But when me the set and say, oh, this batty man and start cuss. <laughs> This is my, this is one of my like close, ah. close <laughs> friend's father, you know. Yeah. Close, close. When I was out of a job for less than a month, this guy mm. said, no, my, you're going to come work up there. He wasn't in the country as, as my virgin. And the man said, yo, just go up there and talk to him. And I got, so you call him all about him, man. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I listen, not one of my proudest moments. Oh. And oh. I, I don't was, mean to be laughing this hard. Yes, I you do. You should be. Yes, I do. It's, it's funny. Hilarious, but not one of my because proudest I moments. Because I know that brother did not react peacefully to that comment. <laughs> no, no, no. Much to his credit. Mm. He reacted calmly. What did you just say? Excuse me? Hey. Yeah. Like him never get as violent as he could and should have. As I would have expected from but he, such a man. Because he, like, again, it was, he kind of knew, like, that's why I always think, like, he kind of knew what he was doing to because his normal reaction was not that. That reaction. Yeah. Okay. So I kind of like, and even like a month later when I went back there, I think I went like, You're on like, yo, Saturday. where you yanking my chain, my nigga? Yeah. So like, I went back there like, like a couple of days before the, the place had reopened. And I was like, yo, I'm not really too love how we left it. And, you know. I didn't mean to call you a batty man. Yeah, no, I was like, <laughs> I was like yo, I mean, it's enough things at night. Like, I, I, and I have an anger problem. And me and him sit down and we just speak about that before because we always spoke. And mm-hmm. maybe they got there, the man he had for dinner and thing. And he, I took him on the road enough times. Enough times and whole heap of time. He might give me guess, but I was like, no, nah, bro, I take dinner from you. Like, it was just such a nice relationship. I take like if it was a give, good working relationship. If he was giving me two grand, I'd take five bills. But you know, like, <laughs> but it wasn't like yo, you know, like it was a really nice working relationship with him, and I really appreciated it and and loved him, and I still love him. I still go to the place and thing, and because we squashed it, and I was like, bro, I really don't feel good about. And the place is also dope as shit. It's like I really don't feel good about you know like that, and he was like, like he never admitted it, like, but it was almost like what he said was like. Yeah, I could have dealt with it better. And I was like, see, I knew. <laughs> I was like, so you knew you're yeah, fucking around. But still, it's one of them things that you know, man. It's but, but for all the young youth, them, bartending is an easy way after COVID to like travel the world. As long as you get like a little certificate and thing, you can travel the world and like do bartending and around the world, everywhere else, you get a lot of good pay. And, Yo. as, and as long as you talk to your customers good, I smoked cigarettes. It was a thousand dollars a pack. And I smoked a pack and a half a day. And I How? never touched my paycheck. Oh, people gave you cigarettes? Tips. Oh, lit. And I would put well, not gas lit, in. Well, cigarettes are awful. I would put in tips from gas as well and thing. And like my paycheck would just go to like me going out and in fucker. Like, 
But hey, you don't want yo. to be a bartender going 40 because those guys, they're jaded and those are never good bartenders and <laughs> managers, all right? Yo, so straight. On the topic of tipping, remember that episode of Boya Things I, I was strippers. doing with um with the joking, Coco man. the Thick? Although I do respect strippers. Co- Co- no, strippers are my, my best friends. I love them. Um, I... It's an actually it's actually a problem. I spend too much money when I go to the strip club. I'm happy COVID's here, so I haven't gone in a while. It's it's a real issue. Anyway, um, I leave my debit card in the car. I've I started to do that and too. And I walk with only like three or four. Grand Whatever I have in my pocket, I have in my pocket. I stop carrying my debit card into the strip club. There's bro. two thousand dollar hard bills, and that's for the bar. A lucky thirty eight, my love. And I normally go there drunk, so you only buy like anyone. A, you normally buy like a queue on your chaser. And like the girl that really wants a, a Heineken, so you have like the change and thing, but you see all the other singles, all the other three, four grand in singles. Don't go to that club with your debit card. No, you'll, you'll shell money. I, that happened to me at Taboo one time. But anyway, hold on, hold on, hold on, before we get yeah. to strip club stories. Uh, yeah. On the topic of tips. I only have one. Yo, else. bro, God. Um, the episode of Boy Things with Coca the Tick, when she was there talking and she was talking about um, just What's how. Coco the Thick. Coco the Thick? Yeah. Uh, damn, that probably got recorded. Anyway. Hold um, on, hold on. Coco the Thick. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> she was just talking about like tippings and how like people to talk to you. how people tip on OnlyFans. Bruh. Dog, when I tell you, you know. Look, I'm not going to pay for OnlyFans still look high. Bro, bro, bro. I was just there chilling and the just like, just like listening. Food, yeah? the Dog. Girl good. The girl look good. It is an, oh, look she look, look a, a good. Good. beautiful look I already paid for Pornhub premium. Beautiful, beautiful chocolate. It's so funny that you pay for Pornhub. Anyway, <laughs> man out there <laughs> paying, man girl. out there tipping and paying for like the wildest of things, you know, dog. Mm. Like, like you're, pay, you're paying. You don't know what I would ask for. Would you pay and tip and <laughs> ask somebody to like degrade you and buy you up? Like, is that your kink? That's one of the kinks I don't get. Like, there are a lot of kinks. So you, that's, that's a kink no, for no, you? No, no, I'm raising my hand to say something. Oh, what's up? Shoot. Hold on, pause. No king shaming. There are a lot of kinks out there. Yeah, no, I no, usually no. try to understand most of the kinks. That's one of those that, like, legitimately escapes you can't, me. And I can't. I, I try to understand I, it, but I can't. I do understand it because, what was I forget which show it was. It was a YouTube show. I think it was something on Vice. And it was girls on before OnlyFans. It was the chatter bait and chat roulette and them. Together. Yeah, and those type of vibes where you would go and they could get the girl in a private room. Mm-hmm. And she said, "All of the well, not all of, don't want to speak in hyperbole, so you know, you know, but a lot of the guys who wanted those things and even like she would go and meet them in person after a couple of months of knowing them on chat roulette and thing. They're all powerful businessmen type shit. And even if they're not powerful <laughs> businessmen, there are people on roads that they know like their family is powerful and things and they're going to be powerful. People of authority won't but get like, stepped on. I yeah. don't get it. But this is it. She would be like, yo, I would, t- I would go to their house and I would be prepared to, you know, to have sex and, you know, to please them. And when I realized what they wanted, they'd be like, just there like, yo, step your, on my testicles. Rub your dick against the carpet until I can see the carpet burn for me. Oh, no, no. And the man then used to happily do it. And then she would be like, where do you keep the, like, what was it? Like vodka or white rum or not white rum, because they don't have white rum. So or like rubbing alcohol. Bacardi and them thing. And there. salt and thing like that. And they'd be like, and then pouring it on them and... <laughs> Then they Dog would do, no then overs. after that, they would jerk off. Raw to the bone or... Dan would probably understand that. I don't understand he that. He has COVID. We're not going to make fun of him. <laughs> yeah, all right. One of our friends have COVID. Yeah. Hopefully not as bad as Dan. That <sighs> fucking bastard keeps on talking about suicide like he's a fucking jackass. Yeah. Could you not, Dan? That'd be great if you didn't do that. Oh, yeah. No, I roast him about it all the time in a group. He's always in like... In the group? Yeah, we have a whole group. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm not doing anything tonight. Old dead boy is going to be in his coffee. And I, and I just, I, this is my cousin that I lived with for a year and a half in England where I learned how not to be a man. <laughs> 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 with it, it, little innuendo shot there, but you get me like, but, um, R.I.P. Goldfish. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, and, like, I, I respond to him like, Bro, you've been saying this for a month now in the group, like, we're tired of hearing about it. Do you want the rope? I'll mail it to you. <laughs> the man never looked, yeah, straight. So I'm just like, 
So like the, today I asked him. That's fucked up. Yeah, so today I asked him, do you want the vaccine? And he goes, oh, mate, I don't want to live like a cripple with the... And some of his conditions are genuinely pretty fucked up. Mm. And they're like like 80-year-old people conditions, but his body is young dead. enough that it can recover if he tried. Uh, he's not if, trying. If he gave a shit and tried <laughs> and went to the doctors regularly, <laughs> he could more than likely, not saying get better like on me and you are better now and start oh. running marathons, uh-uh. but he could definitely be at least have the body of a 50-year-old instead of a fucking 80-year-old. His quality of life could improve. Thank you. But no, that's not Dan. No, never. not Dan the Savage, man. But also, and I'm, I'm going to send this to him because we're roasting him. But oh, yeah. To also to his credit, imagine being as thick as you were, mm. but six foot like one or two. Yeah. He would destroy everybody before going to the gym. And now he is thinner than me and still that height. Lanky boy. And that's just from like this. So I understand how he can feel that way. Oh, yeah. But at the same time. That being sick is being sick. It's been seven months. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought he had COVID. COVID as what he, I remember it's changed throughout the time when it hit England and what it is now and all of that. And what he got sick then like got better then got sick again. The COVID he has, and he doesn't know if he was reinfected or it was the same thing, but to what he understands. And again, he's not the person to really, he hasn't been to many doctors and things like that, but it's more like a vascular disease, vascular disease that they have up there in the cold weather. Mm. So he got hit with it like three, four times in, like, in the space of like three or four months. COVID like you boy. Yeah. And he Damn. was, and after he got it the first time, it wasn't like he was still doing road. He was just at his yard because he was fucked up. Yeah. So he kept on getting the same sickness, not getting rid of it, basically. Or it was, as he said, a vascular disease where it was just in his blood and it kept on attacking him. You ever have a chest cold and like take antibiotics and do finish the antibiotics all the way? And then that bitch comes back like a week later. I've hit bongs for four years. Who are you talking to? Exa- bro, bro, <laughs> I, was one of, I, I did that once as a child. Yeah. When like, you, this, that's how I learned. I wish I didn't learn finish that before. It. Finish the antibiotics. And if you still don't feel well, go back to the yeah. doctor. Don't stop. Yeah. Bro, one time, you know, took taking, 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 feel better. I was like, yeah, all right, yeah. cool enough for this shit. Thing came back a week later, like it was lifting weights in the hyperbolic time chamber and just training for me, dog. Mm. Fucked me up. So, Dan, while we're roasting you, I hope you do feel better, bro. Yeah, I don't want to leave it no, on, a, on a low for him. Yeah, no one to, likes it. I also want to educate the people and say this. Listen, I see all of you guys, and I am one of them too. I've gone to a couple bar, well, one bar. And I left one place when I saw that it was too full outside. I ain't be going nowhere. And I'm going out because I, you know. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, but guys, yo, on a day at the bar and you now wear your mask and you're not having your drink in your hand and it's a dozen people sitting at the bar having them drinks and eating food. And you are standing up there waiting for the bartender. There's no reason for you realistically to not have your mask on because we're in a crowded area. Those little things like, yeah, no, yo, when you're drinking, you drink, when you're, when you're dancing on the dance floor, you can still have it on, but okay, fine. It restricts your breathing for some of you, but yo, there's no reason for you to be in a crowded area at the bar ordering your drink and you do have on the mask and you're not drinking anything. There's no reason for that type of wildness. You're like, Every time you can be wearing the mask and you should be wearing it, yo, just wear the fucking mask, bro. Like, and if you don't want to wear your mask, do what I do. Tana yad. Exactly. <laughs> yo, exactly, I've bro. made my house a lot more comfy in this since COVID started. Just because you had to. Otherwise, I'd have been like, all these squares make a yeah, circle. Man. All these squares make a circle. All these. If you anybody get that reference, ten points to you. Ten points. I'm so sad they stopped making that show, bro. That yeah. show was good. But uh, it ended on top, so, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. But uh, it's, 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 it's a real thing to like. Hold on, hold on. Let's close off the tips conversation. Yeah. That's all I really wanted to ask because I just, I can't understand how... Wow, well, there's a tangent. Yeah, right? I don't understand how you're um, Mr. In Charge or like powerful or whatever and then your kink is like being degraded. Like what? 
Why? If that's your kink out there, could you explain it to me? Actually, I it's, can, it's genuine curiosity on I my part. I can explain it to you right now. The only kink in the world I don't want to explain to me at all is like puppy and pony play. Keep that. I'm, I I think that's a mental illness. Everything else, I'm pretty, I want to hear, I want to find out. But see your face, bro? Exactly. Exactly how I feel about it. So anyways... Let's go. Uh, 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 I was watching. I was watching a video on YouTube of a dude. Mr. Hands. Of a no. It was Search just, Mr. Hands. No, Mr. Hands on the dark web. The, it's the first the guy. Web. It's the first guy that got fucked by a horse and died. Oh wow! See, I wasn't even going that bad. I was, exactly, I was on this exactly. page. I was on this page. This, shit, this, this dude. dude um, this dude decent. had four boyfriends mm. who were like, and they're all bodybuilders and shit, and they're all into puppy play. And turns out the dude is a serial killer. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> the dude was a serial killer and knocked off too. Now I can I, see your brain formulating a question. I would be a serial killer <laughs> of people who hurt animals like that. No, pop, prefer, pop, no, pop no, no, play no, is no, not can, hurting can animals. I, can I? No, can I? Can I? If you sexually abuse animals that's like not that. what puppy plays i don't know but bro we're just puppy talking plays, about bestiality pu- puppy so plays like, one dude who dressed like the dude who dresses up in like the, a puppy outfit and pretends to be a puppy that's just literally what puppy plays they pretend to be a puppy and then the, the owner i guess like does his owner shit it's not fucking animals bro i no ew i don't want <laughs> to hear about these things stop telling me about it go uh, away <laughs> One, one dude had yeah. four boyfriends and he turns out he was a serial killer and he knocked off two. Go away! <laughs> he knocked off two of them. And one of one of them was in the hospital because he put saline in his testicles and it like got infected. Do you understand how amazing America is, Doug, in one of the most horrible ways ever? You're not gonna find that story in Jamaica. You're not gonna <laughs> to me. <laughs> Don't like, throw that at me. I would just like to show you guys. This is <laughs> this is dance hall live. And you see everybody. Uh, let me give you some of the names uh, that are in there. <clears throat> hold on, hold on, Martin. Hold on. May I? You just finished explaining this to me. I'd like to explain this to you. The the guys on this album cover, if you couldn't uh-huh. see, yeah. Yellow Man. Yeah. Home T four. I don't know. A lot of you guys not going to know them, man. There, there's some some large man. Yo, Tim is, no, no, Tim is brought up some horrific topics to no, me no, before. No, no. I'm happy I finally found something hold to on. creep him. Martin, out. we're just going to and let me finish I what I'm going to so say. So pleased by this. Sugar, my not. All right. Charlie Chaplin, not the there is a black one. The black Charlie it's Chaplin. The black one. All right. None of these artists would be happy. <laughs> to be in the presence of what him at all about, about puppy play. None of them. And I am not either. And me not sing dance Yo, I, You are awful, dog. You bring up some horrific topics all the time. At least, I'm not ready for at, this. At least I just bring up weird shit. <laughs> Listen, I was not ready. <clears throat> I was not ready for this. I bring Man. up shit that won't happen. I, I make like dead baby jokes. No, you'll sit down and watch live leaks of like people dying. See? <laughs> See? Yo, you know what? Um, you know what's my new no favorite? You know what's my new favorite? Um bad TV to watch? I really love TLC. I haven't gone on live leak in like three months. There must be some new good shit. Oh Jesus. See? I, not here. Not no, here. not here, not here. I'm checking to see if I'm in trouble. Um, yeah. Uh TLC is my new favorite, like bad TV. Like just to watch on YouTube. Why? Because it's always some wild shit. It's 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 never like it's never um Timothy has a broken leg or young boy um does this. It's it's like my five hundred my six hundred pound life, world's greatest cheapskates. Um there was a show on the one where they get married abroad 90 day fiance. There's one worse. There's one worse. Which one? Because I was, was watching on TLC. And I only saw it on highly questionable the show on ESPN where mm-hmm. it's Dan Lebertard. It's not really about sports. And he goes, "Are you guys interested in this show?" And it was, it was how those massive people have sex. It, it's stuff like that that and TLC it, brings up, yo, bro. And I and they, everybody on the show is like a panel of three of them, like all on Zoom, and they're all just like. And it's a producer that shows them the clip. And then he's the one asking, are you guys interested in TLC's new show, How They Do It? And it's just like, 
oh, what's this show about? And then it's a sack of a thousand pounds. When we're having sex, she has to take a fucking crowbar and lift me up with a with a car tire jack and lift up my flabs and then he sticks his whole foot in me and then like uh, bro it's I, wild yo. today i was watching extreme cheapskates and i was like all right i'm gonna need to do a reaction video for some of I these so I'll, those people. I'll prob hold on no 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 I, I, I i'm gonna do a reaction to some they of those because bro there's this one woman bad man who she doesn't pay for a gym membership. Instead, she goes to the store where they sell the gym equipment and she just rides the bike. Like, every day. The money she spends driving to the gym, she could have probably, like, save and spend at the gym. Anyway, she also uses her pool for everything in terms of she uses it for exercise. For If the kids want a vacation, they go in the pool. And she puts her own special mixture in the pool, which she then washes her clothes in. So she uses the pool to wash her clothes too. She, in order to save money on her toilets, she puts two bricks in her toilets to displace the water. So you only use half as much water. And she uses that same pre on her pool where she fills up bottles and bottles of sand and makes her kids swim them down to the bottom so that it could displace some water. So she uses less water in the pool. Now her biggest annoyance. All right, the toilet one. The toilet one makes sense, but like, yeah, no, the they're, they're, they're valves that fill halfway. Yeah, you, don't yeah, have to do you, that. Don't, you don't have to do that nowadays. You, because you're, it, that, you're, Back in the day, that was a smart one, but... No, you're just fucking dumb now. Yo. And just like horrible. She is making her children... Well, I, bro, I just posted in bro, Levi. I, I, I taught I'm, him how to garden today because I wanted... Yeah, okay, so I can't really say no more. Bad man. She, her biggest problem was the $100 a month the pool pump cost. So she figured out how to turn her um solar panel no how to turn a bicycle that they have no, at home no, into a stationary no, bicycle no, to put a generator on the no, side Martin, to power no. the um the thing Martin. so when she won't use the pool she literally she pedals for hour to run the run the pump and filter through the pool then she go wash her clothes in the pool and make Martin. her kids set stuff down i'm not joking bad man there's this one dude who lives rent free in this flat because I thought this was supposed to be a fun part. I guess I ruined it with Dan. <laughs> Bro, no, he, 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 no, these are hilarious, I'm man. What are you talking about? Dan, dog, these I'm are sorry. hilarious. What are you talking I'm about? Sorry, Bro, man. there's this I'm one dude. I didn't who, mean to do that. They're <laughs> hila- dog, they're so funny to me, bad man. There's this one dog. He lives those people are rent sad, free. Man. That's sad, man. Yeah. Sad for what? She that's happy. Sad. No, man. That's sad. She doesn't even know that she's sad, bro. There's this one chick who chews the same piece of gum three days in a row. She's convinced that the freezer um she's convinced the freezer saves the flavor. No, she's convinced the freezer saves the flavor my lord no. she she buys a large cup of coffee from starbucks on a monday and she drinks a bit of it a day till friday They're, the coffee cup itself has um lipstick stains mm. going around the rim and she says mm. she can tell how many days she's been drinking mm. big by the coffee stains and by the wednesday or the thursday oh, a little film occurs please, on the top Martin, of the please, coffee Martin, and she please, can't drink it Martin, please. <laughs> Please, my. Please. All right, I tell you about the dude who, te- no, no, Martin, who cheated no, in friends. Just my, just my. <laughs> Man, I love these stop, shows. Bro. I love these shows. Just bro. stop, my youth. I enjoyed my lunch and dinner tonight. I don't want to. I'll be telling you who enjoyed their lunch. My 600 pound life, where like they bought 10 pizzas to go to the family dinner. And before they got to the family dinner, which is 2.5 miles away. Audience first. Well, this is why I've never seen me in a so blood clot long. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> I was killing Timmy with gross facts. I'm telling you, bro, TLC has become my new favorite, like, just way to... That would just agree to, like, do a different topic. I'm closing off that topic. I'm closing off that topic. I, I'm so happy that of all the disgusting things in the world that Timmy likes, I can gross him out with TLC. I'm going to stockpile my clip. Anyway, <laughs> when we took a break, oh, you were telling me a story about you. Guys, you know how COVID's a thing? And in Jamaica, at least, we have a, a 9 p.m. curfew, which says, yo, be home unless you're like needed to be on the road for something important or you're a worker. You really essential. Are you really are essential? Are you an essential though? worker? Are you, you really me? an essential? Yeah. What do you mean? For the fucker? I have to keep up the fucker on Tuesdays. Are you really an essential? I have, that- keep, I have to keep up the fucker on Tuesdays. What are you talking about? Listen to the radio show, boy, things after dark. Anyway. Boy, things after dark. Yeah, don't fuck around yeah, on Tuesdays fun. when you're there. Yeah, yeah, that's a curfew. Fun. 
you don't have not a bumba cloud for fucking do. You must <laughs> oh listen God. to the fucking show because the show is nothing but straight flames. Yeah, right? it's pretty good. It's fucking fire. So you're supposed to be home Except by nine o'clock? when the two girls were screaming and shouting. This man <laughs> just tell me, say, him left Rockford, which is waterfront, the opposite side of town, at midnight. We are doing the opposite side of town at midnight, bad man. Okay, so this is how it started. So the people can overstand the thing. Or they leave my... What was it? It wasn't my mother's birthday. It was somebody's birthday. Jody? No, that was too recent. We left at dinner. Who cares? <laughs> at Jody Yard in Norbrook. <clears throat> in, the, in that vicinity. In that area. What time did you leave this house? We left Jody's at seven. And I look on Lana and I say, yo, we are going rock for it. <laughs> that never went over well. I wonder why. But, you know, I won. One said I won. So <laughs> I drop her up to the yard now and she kiss her teeth, come out the car. Gone inside of me, gone. Reach rock for it at eight, eight ish. Little after eight, cause you know, they stop and go buy little nice old weed for go to, you know, bust them and then pump on the ends and thing and come come to the ends. And ten o'clock now, we're up on the ends and we say, oh, I go show. But we are whole of meds. So we'll go and finish the meds. 11 o'clock. A next man roll, but him had some nice weed too. I just start cutting What do you next mean him week. roll at 11 o'clock? Y'all supposed to be home at 9. <laughs> no, nah, man, we don't know where him come from, you know. We're right on, like, it's a fisherman community right beside Literally the Literally the waterfront. Yeah, like right beside the JPS where you would go to, like, when you go say Rockford. It's a JPS in Rockford. I don't know how to describe it. If you don't know it, there's Google one. It. There is yeah, one. Google's it. So there's a fishing village right beside it. 11 o'clock, the man just shows up and he's like, yo, I have some nice weed. And I'm like, ah, I have some grab and we have a chalice. It sounds like a plan. So <laughs> at put, 11 o'clock, two hours after curfew. Oh, no, me still think it's 1030, you know. So I say, yeah, man, no, Which man. Which is still an hour and a half after curfew. <laughs> I say, no, man, by 11 o'clock, we can just show up. 11.30. Yo, Jano. Last load we have in the, in the chalice, you know. Oh, Jano, the man, them. This time my eyes looked just like my drink. Red as a cherry. <laughs> All right. Yo, man, them, me have a shub, you know. Yo, Timo, but remember I asked you a question. By the time I got in the car, after answering the question, 12 o'clock. <laughs> 12 o'clock. I don't know why the question took me half an hour to answer. You chat too fucking much. <laughs> Listen, when you're that high, and you and you chat too fucking much. <laughs> well, when the wife, this man is the only person well, I know besides me who routinely is always on about when the curfew is in full effect, and we and we're I have fine. My papers, you know. and we're fine. We're, we're always fine. I know one dude who left. After the curfew one time, once, once, and the one time. Lock up. He nearly got, he nearly lock up. Mm. <laughs> Puss and dog not have the same luck. It's such a no. real statement in Jamaica. I don't know what kind of luck you have. You have mongoose luck. So, dog. this was the first one, this was the first time in about a month that I had broke that curfew, you know. Mm. Like every other time before, I was like, yo, they move it from eight till nine. I must can follow it. We don't know what to do <laughs> that night there, you know. But me, you know, me, I broke it that night there. What's all the 3 p.m. curfews, mm. bro? I don't leave my house those days because I know better than myself. I don't leave my house those days. I don't leave my house till I five o'clock. I better for myself. I don't, I don't leave my house till five, so I don't want to leave at all. <laughs> and I, I'm coming up now in the Rockford, there's two police stations. There's one by the waterfront and one you're coming up the road. And I always take a little back road. So I come through the back road. And when you come through the back road, there's a terrible pothole that's on the main. <laughs> Doug, yeah. no, the way, is, the, way the, man, the way the man <clears throat> said terrible a while ago, no, making it's, it's that so the pothole cool. is like it is horrific. A terrible pothole. Ugh. But because I'm coming from the side road, which is literally two inches away from it, I'm coming out at zero miles an hour. Mm. So I never yet bust my tire. Never yet lick the pothole 
always just go, chups, chups, gone. Come round the corner now and it go through a little gully. All I see is a flashlight and it's a black vest them have uh, on. Where all the you non, see is the a non reflective vest. That just see all you see. No, the, the non reflective black, but them have the silver vest. Them have the badge. That's yeah, and things. So you see, and, and then just all I see is them just waving. They're actually waving to slow down for the, the listeners to not to stop, but they're waving to slow down. But at that point in time, at 12 o'clock, so I just put on my indicator, you know, beat my horn for say, all right, I understand. Pull over into somebody's driveway on the right hand side. It's time a song is playing. It's about a five minute song. There's two minutes left in it. The song done. Looking, I look in the rear view. There's still a car behind them that was there when they stopped me. So, all right, cool. I'm still a hunt of money from that guy. Okay. I start a next song, another two minute long song. That song finishes. I don't dip. No, but you know what I say? You know what? The last time I dipped from police, it didn't end so well for me. <laughs> That's where I knew my luck ended. So I don't do that again. Okay. So I come out the car now and I get my papers, I get my license and I get the, you know, the agreement papers that, we, you know, I know he's going to want. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and <clears throat> sorry. So, you know, I go up to him now and I go, these guys aren't really, that the way that their body language is with the other person that they stopped, I'm like, they're not really batting him up. I uh, so put my car papers in my back pocket. Everything is in my back pocket now. And so they can't really see it. So I'm just walking over to them empty handed. I go, yo, guys, did you stop me? Brown man, you still there? <laughs> Tell you, I had a cut. Hold on, now. hold on. Now. You're the best part. I go, yeah. What size tire you have? Man, boss him tire? I don't know. I don't know. He's, he's asking me so quickly. So he goes, what size tire you have? You have jack? What are you going for your car? You all right? <laughs> so I go, I, my, yes, I have a jack. My room is 14. What, what, what happened to you? You guys all right? Yo, go to him car. Go get him spare tire. No. So hold on now. I look on him now. I know. refuse. All right now, you know. The man is by my car already at this point, you know, but my car has an alarm, so it automatically unlocks. It lock, locks. It, it locks automatically. So he, yo, boss, this no? And I go, bro, I don't have a spare, you know, like, so I open the trunk and I take out my jack because it's 12 o'clock at night. If I can help the police, the police can help me. So I say, all right, no, man, may I go stop? And the next man, no, he goes, bro, man, are you a problem? No. And he leaves. <laughs> he didn't have a jack and he didn't have a spare so he leaves and he lives in the area me brother me the day and say yo stop a taxi man they always have a spare tire and they always buy small thick tires where your size be where your rim size be 14 stop the first taxi man i bet you get a tire true that a white wish i come round the corner the man stop him have a spear in the back yeah, what size? 14. <laughs> so said, so, so done. So done. <laughs> Taxi man, how are we going to get back the tire? They give him a business card. Come at this police station tomorrow at 12 o'clock, you get it back. Taxi man gone now, you know, he gone without him spear, you know, hopefully he reach home without a bus tire, because he not on a spear until he's gone back at the station. Sometimes, sometimes it helps, bro. Sometimes, me, sometimes me it helps. one, you know, the policeman did it. Two of them, you know. All I see is two jump out jeeps coming around the corner. Four. Because they, they, those are actually the guys that patrol Rockford. Oh, okay. These guys came from halfway tree during traffic hours. <laughs> them did bust them tire at 10 o'clock and no one helps them till I stopped at 12. That's... When wow. we, when me said so now and I have the two-ton jack, the actual like mechanic jack. Mm-hmm. And them say, he's a mechanic. So, yeah. So, so yeah, you know, so, so, but me not really have no work right now. Put the car up on the flat down the sun thing and them time me, bro, me is a mechanic. <laughs> but me loose on the tire, jack up the car, replace it, say, that tire you not good enough. All you want to beat out the rim door, me give them my link for your tire man and beer thing. Me sound like a real mechanic. I don't know where me find so much blood clot talk from you know about. What are you drinking? That's where, that's where, that's so where liquid me, courage. So when the man them now, them roll the car forward two feet and back two feet and say, wow, well, brown man, you know your thing now. I say, yeah. You see how me help you? Man apart me live. Just forward. Halfway three police station. Yeah, go. Just follow me. For them where there is a straight shot down Constant Spring. <laughs> Two other police stopped me that night. 
and all of them were taking away people. No matter how much money you had, then they take away Benz, then they take away. Jeez. Yeah, they were just taking away people that night because they were just like, yo, this is just fuckery. <laughs> when the man uh-huh. stopped me, mask up again, you know, beer, and this time there's no silver, just beer black. Mm-hmm. All I see is a black of the rifle. Uh. Stop your blood clot car. I have the little mesh, so even when my windows are down, so my hands them through the window, you know? Mm-hmm. Been there. Officer. And because they didn't know where I was going, once you hit Barbican, the police say, overtake us. You have to lead the way by now. But they were right behind me. So my hands out the window and I look in the rear view and the two of them are in the back, are in their police car, dying. <laughs> dying. <laughs> dying with laughter. Because they know, say, yo, I'm okay. And I know I'm okay, but... It's still f- not there is funny. a rifle pointed at a- my face from a very angry... And nobody likes that. No, if so, you guys could start pointing the rifles at us when you pull us over, that'd be great. Yeah, no, at 12 o'clock at night, when I was when Ugh. they stopped me at that time, the rifle is necessary because you don't know who you stop. But in the middle of the day, yeah, please. At the, at the gas station, yeah, you that, don't yeah, need that, to stick the rifle in yeah, my face. That one, that one that kind of can ease off Bad of that. Man. So you now he goes, why the fuck are you on the road? I help those police officers behind me. They're, <laughs> they're following me home. Timmy so like him I cry. <laughs> Brother, this time I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dead eh? And the man them still all dead be laughing. Like, I'm still looking in the rear view, you know. And he goes, Hold on. Yo, are you guys with Brown Man? Completely changed his voice, you know, from yo, the fuck it. Yo, are you guys with Brown Man? Is, you're follow- yeah, you're following him? Alright, brown man. No, no, sorry about that. Yeah, have a good night. Reach home safe. Sounded like a really decent, respectable man. Everybody two, is respectful when they have them friends around them. Brother, two seconds earlier. It was not. Oh, I was going to die. Guys. So that was a nice thing. That's a really good story to wrap up on. <laughs> good, a, good going. Guys, yo, thank you for enjoying the podcast. Follow curfew, mate. <laughs> yeah, bro. Follow curfew, <laughs> mate. Not every story I got in nice like that. Thank I've you for I've already been to jail once. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> no, nice. We're telling that story next time. Thank you for listening to the podcast, guys. Shout out to Boom Draw Physics for the intro outro song, prismatic verse, lower thirds, intro sequence, all that stuff. Um, YouTubeBright.com, promo code BAM10, 10% off anything off. And when you listen to this at Bob Dammit on Twitter, I'm big him up. The dog had a great day, and we all have those days. We can all use some big ups, right? Thank Sending you. Love to Bob, you know? Dropping bombs on your moms. Don't run from police at night, only in the daytime. <laughs>